So we're going to try to calculate uncertainty of pressure. Now we've got this pane of glass here, um, and we are measuring the um, the pressure placed on this glass. Now we can work out pressure by doing force divided by area. We've got some sort of um, uh, electronic device that measures the amount of force being applied. So we've got um, force being applied to this pane of glass. And maybe uh, we can have like a uh, something that has a, uh, on, if we look in closer inspection, we might see something that had a small area like this. So that bit would have a small area. And we might be measuring um, it with this ruler here, whether in a certain amount of millimeters. So if we look at the area, if we look at, let's say the area was a square or a rectangle, and we measure the length of that rectangle, and it is, um, <clears throat> let's say it's it's 2.1 centimeters, and using that ruler on the right, and then the it's 1.7 centimeters uh, tall. So that's the, um, we would then use that to calculate the area. Meanwhile, the uh, force is measured to be 10.01 newtons. Now, because I'm using this ruler, I, can, I can't really say it's exactly 1.7 centimetres. I, I can just say it's actually 1.7 centimetres, give or take 0 0.05 centimetres, because that's how precise that my ruler is. And the same over here. Um, so 2.1 centimetres, plus or minus, 0.05 centimeters. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try to work out what is the um, what is the uncertainty within this area. So, look, the maximum value of this area would be the maximum length multiplied by the maximum height. So, the maximum uh, which would be well, two point um, two point one five multiplied by one point seven five. Okay. And, and the so this is the maximum area. And then the minimum area would, would be the two smallest values multiplied by each other. So that would be uh, 2.05 multiplied by 1.65. So that's, that's the uh, maximum area and that's the minimum area, okay? So, so we wanna make sure you include all of the decimal places here um, because we're, we're calculating the absolute uncertainty. Um, so these are my range of possible oh, um, centimeters squared. That is, we're doing areas here. Um, so these are my absolute, um, the, the, my range of areas that the highest area it could be is this, the lowest area it could be is this. So what I do next is I, um, I take the two, I add them together and I see what is the halfway point. So if I add them together, I would, um, and then divide them by two, I would get um, the I'd get the halfway point. So the halfway point is um, is three point three point five seven two five. And and then what we're going to see? Well, how much lower or higher is that than um, the uh, than the, the than these bounds? So Let's let's just um, subtract the lower bound. So minus three point three eight two five. Um, so that's so that's going to be then plus or minus zero point one nine. So the area is zero point one nine. Um, is, sorry, is three point five seven two five plus or minus zero point one nine centimeter squared. Um, now that's the area. We still have we still have to do the pressure, um, and well, we have to do the force as well, actually. So the force was equal to um, ten point zero one, and it's got two decimal places. So that means we're going to be that we're going to be um, this certain about it, and that's newtons. Um, let's just move that to the end. Move that to the left a little bit. Um, so the lower bound is going to be um, 10 points. So we're going to say FL for lower bound, 10.0, uh, 
zero five and f m f max is ten point zero one five now at this point you might think hang on a second um ten point zero one five would actually round up to be ten point zero two but technically the reason why you say ten point zero one five is because actually it would be ten point zero one four nine 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 forever okay anything anything lower than this value the, the, the infinitesimally small amount lower than that value would round down to uh, 10.01 and so we just we do, we just do 10.015 um, so this is um, this is how these catch you out in this case the area the the maximum area would have been the maximum times the maximum because we're multiplying two maximums here but because we're dividing this time we take a larger um, value by dividing you're going to um, get the maximum divided by the minimum and then to get the lowest um, um, pressure you're going to get the um, the lowest divided by the um, highest so the so we've got the um, our, we've got our range of areas in fact let's um let's work out the lowest area now and the highest area in fact we've already done that we've already got the highest the highest area and the lowest area there and we've got the lowest force and the highest force so see if you can now work out what would be the um the highest um pressure we're going to say pm and the the lowest pressure okay so have a go at that there you go so the highest pressure is going to be the highest force divided by the lowest possible area. So the highest force would be, um, let's zoom in here a little bit. Um, it's going to be 10, 10 point zero one five newtons divided by the lowest area, which is 3.382. Five centimeter squared, and the lowest um, pressure is going to be the lowest force, ten point zero zero five newtons, divided by the highest area, so uh, three point seven six two five centimeter squared. Okay. So these are the two values. Um, eventually, we will round up, but um, we'll just keep all the decimal places as much as possible. I didn't include them all in the second one because it's a recurring number and it's extremely big. Um, but um, what I'll do now is I will um, get the midway point. So I'll basically take away that from here, 6082779. And... Um, Okay, so when I when I added them together and divide them by two, I did I have now rounded rounded up or rounded down, um, and uh, so I've got two point eight one, and now I'm going to see um, by what degree is each one above or below. So I'm going to say how much do I need to add to get to that one? How much do I need to subtract to get to that one? Hopefully, if I've done it right, it will be the same number. So, um, so the actual value in the end ends up being two point one uh, two point eight one plus or minus 1 point, uh, 0 0.151 pascals. Um, and uh, I've rounded up there, but uh, yeah. And so you can then go on to work out the percentage uncertainty by saying 0 0.151 divided by 2.81 um, and then times it by 100, and then you get the percentage uncertainty of that. So that is how to combine uncertainties from various different measurements. We've, yeah.